Hey guys, I recently had a situation on eBay and it involved dealing with what I would consider to be a bad buyer. So I wanted to make this video to help educate those who are new to reselling on eBay or Amazon or wherever else. You know, I've made mistakes in the past and I've learned from them, so hopefully you guys won't have to. Alright, so here's what happened. I sold this on eBay and it was brand new sealed. I sold it for $15 with free shipping. In the ad, I very specifically said, this doesn't work. If you're not familiar, this is the LEGO Universe. MMORPG which is no longer active. Still, there's a huge population of LEGO collectors out there. I've sold a few of these and I've had happy customers. People who actually wanted to add to their collection. So apparently what happened was this person's son bought the game and didn't read the details. So of course they, you know, initially sent me an email where they're like, oh you scumbag sending me this game it doesn't work, you lied, you blah blah blah, all this, all this, you know, craziness which I mean, you know, people are, there's some crazy people out there. So, you know, I'm looking at it, and then I get another message. And the message is like, like oh, geez, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, I didn't read the details, and, uh, you know, my son bought it, and he didn't read the details. Um, oh, man, I'm really sorry for yelling at you like that, uh, but I still want to return it. So at this point in time, I'm like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, you know, kind of annoying, but that's that's part of business, so... Nothing really to complain about here, you know, just take the take the refund, and that's that, you know, just, that's just part of business. I could deal with that. So next thing I know, you know, time's going by, time's going by, it's been like freaking two weeks now, I get it back. And I mean, you know, yeah, it's after the 14-day returns, and technically I don't have to honor it, but he hasn't left me a feedback, and that's a pretty big deal. So I finally get it back, and of course, what do you know? It's been opened, so it's not brand new sealed. Now, at this point, I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ, you know, this guy is a freaking jerk, okay? Because you return this thing, and it's not the same condition that he got it in. It's, just, it's the freaking, like, cardinal rule of, like, returning an item on eBay. If you're going to return it, you got to return it in the condition that you got it. And it's like, okay, sure, I could, I could give him a restocking fee. Then he'll probably give me a negative. Sure, I could just, I could just say, oh, sorry, it's been after two weeks. But, again, he'll probably give me a negative feedback. Ultimately, what it comes down to is, if you're selling on eBay, if you're selling on Amazon, if you're selling on Etsy, I mean, wherever you're selling, okay, unless it's at, like, a flea market or, or a tag sale or something, or, or unless it's your own website or your own store, but even then, you can get backlash, and you can get some serious backlash. Ultimately, what it comes down to is, the customer is right. Even if I had my own store on my own website, the customer would probably still be right. And the other thing I would mention is if you if you can't afford to lose the item price plus $15, then you probably shouldn't be selling on eBay, um, especially, especially if this is like a full-time thing. I mean, I've had to eat things that were like $300, you know, $400. Like, it's happened. That's, that's part of life. That's just the way it is. If you get mad about it, it's not going to help you out. It's only going to hurt you. So you really got to just accept that that's part of life. I mean, that's the way it is. I'm just grateful that it doesn't happen that often because, to be honest, I haven't really had that many returns. I haven't really had that many problems. And this whole year, eBay has just been great for me. So, you know, thankfully I've had some really good buyers. But when you do come across an unreasonable buyer who's just being a jerk or, you know, they're just, they're just not very courteous and respectful to you, then you just got to say, okay, you know what, move on. That's that. Uh, so it's like in this situation, this thing's worthless to me. I'm freaking gonna donate it. But the point is, like, I I just lost money, and this person, because of their stupidity and their recklessness, I basically just you know got screwed. And that's just part of it. That's eBay for you. That's Amazon for you, to an even bigger extent. So just remember that. Remember that next time you sell an item and you get screwed by the buyer, don't freaking message them. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. Don't message them and be like oh, you're a liar, or, oh, you're just trying to steal, or you're a scammer, because I swear to God, you're shooting yourself in the foot by doing that. Just remember, you got to be positive, stay focused, and keep your eye on the prize, because otherwise, you're not going to be running a business as well as you can. And the sooner you can let go of the things that are really annoying and bad that are going on in your life, the sooner you can move on and, you know, be grateful for what you have and really start focusing on making some money. Okay, guys, well, hopefully that video helped you out. Hopefully, if you're new to selling, online, you'll keep that in mind. Because honestly, that's one of the biggest things that I wish I knew when I was first starting out. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone you know, 
Uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. If anything's ever happened to you recently where maybe you had a bad buyer, please be sure to subscribe. And check me out on Facebook at Picking Profits as well. Got lots of cool stuff going on there. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.